Peace Tribe, thanks for tuning in. Uh, we are 27 days away from Costa Rica. I've been getting my workouts in because I promised myself a Fediana before I leave. Um, yeah, as y'all can see, I was not worried about the aesthetics this morning. What y'all see is what y'all get. This is the real. Of course, I jumped in the shower afterward and did my little skincare routine, which is just a few simple products. Um, I use the La Roche Posay Gentle Cleanser, Cetaphil for moisture, and then it's not seen here, but I use retinol once in a while for that extra glow. To be honest, y'all, I am not feeling it today. <laughs> I'm just a little energetically depleted and then I'm doing my best to uh, recuperate my energy. But definitely wanted to make sure I came and tapped in with y'all just to show y'all the different textures <laughs> of um, the journey I'm experiencing with only 27 days left living in the United States. Um, if y'all hear kids in the background, know those are my baby sisters. If you've been following the journey, um, you know that I moved back home. So yeah, I live with my mom, three little sisters, um, which has been a beautiful experience. But today I've just been kind of like isolated a little bit. Um, just like I said, trying to regroup my energy. But I feel blessed today. I feel really good. Um, I'm not really working, but I'm always handling some back end business and um, content and all those things. But, you know, coming on here and creating doesn't really feel like work to me. I have been trying to enter a flow state all of 2023 and I finally feel like it is upon me. Like, um, what I mean by that is I have had a difficult time in the past with being present and with feeling like I had balance and harmony in my life. And especially as far as like, in my mind, in my body, and my spirit simultaneously. Usually it's like my body's healthy, but my spiritual thirst can be quenched more, um, or my mind was always cluttered or too focused on the future. What I've been able to do within just this first week of January is come to a point of complete acceptance. I am accepting fully what is, you know, and there has been so much power in that. I feel like a weight has been lifted off of my heart, you know? I have had this tendency to kind of like try to make life what I want to make it. And even though I'm doing that, there are some things that I just simply don't have control over. Other people being one, you know? And just kind of just releasing, you know? I'm releasing control right now. It was scary in the beginning, but it's one of the most beautiful and self-empowering things I could have done. Um, I am properly preparing myself to leave, but right now my main focus is just continuing to stay in this flow state because it is so huge for me to be able to create, you know, creativity is not something that comes from the mind. I truly believe it is a gift that comes from the spirit and, um, you know, can be transmuted into the material realm, but like it just takes a certain amount of um, presence and awareness and uh, just freeness, you know? You have to free up space to be able to create. And I spent a lot of time this year doing that. I mean, last year doing that. So now this year I can fully step into this, just like create creative process without it feeling like work, you know? Um, I know a lot of you are probably watching this right now and you may want to have your own channel someday, but you have issues with being like consistent or you don't know what your niche would be. You're still looking for your purpose and things like that. And I was right where you are. I was right where you are. Um, but when I entered that flow state of just accepting what is and knowing what I want and going towards that with, with love and with joy, it just becomes natural now like I'm here recording this video it's like doesn't feel like work it just feels like my diary and that is something that I told myself I wanted um my all my social platforms to be really you know 
Um, you may be able to learn something through my experience, but it isn't really directly my job to teach, you know? And I feel like while the divine was uncovering my purpose to me, I felt the need to just be a teacher. Like I got a guide, I got to teach, I got to tell people how to heal themselves and what to do and that. And God's like, no, you don't. <laughs> You have to work on you, you know, you have to um, heal yourself. You have to live life fearlessly and that will inspire people. And that is, is how you teach, you know, through example. And I was just like, uh, <laughs> and I love that, you know, because there's a lot of pressure in teaching, you know, and especially being that we are all always going to be a student to life. So um i feel way better now knowing that i don't have to have all this pressure i just got to show up as myself you know this is me <laughs> this is me okay edges undone um your lips a little chat <laughs> this is me um man i'm so grateful i'm so grateful to be in this space um of self-acceptance as well you know that is something that i like the most recent and pivotal download that I realized to be able to free myself from the shackles of fear. Um, and I felt that that was so imperative for this next level of my journey as well. Like I had to release this perfectionism that I had placed on myself and was projecting onto other people so I could have a better relationship with myself and a better relationship with other people. We all know that this healing journey is never ending. You know, we're gonna be learning and exploring and healing and downloading information until our last breath is how I personally feel. But we don't have to live it like our mission is to fix ourselves, you know? There's nothing wrong with us and there's nothing wrong with others. And I'm not sure if this resonates with you, but I was really like meeting some really phenomenal people, especially in the dating realm and picking them apart, you know, because I tend to pick myself apart. Um, on one hand, it has made me disciplined and, and is what has gotten me to higher heights because I push myself, but it is also what kept me in mental turmoil and um, it kept me feeling unsatisfactory with life in my relationships and career and creativity and when i saw myself projecting that onto people especially the people that i love the most i had to take a step back and evaluate how i was the problem <laughs> you know um and i found that i just that yeah i have to accept you need to accept things for exactly what they are and one mantra that I've picked up is just like, I don't want or need for anything. I don't want a need for anyone to be anything or anybody. I have everything that it is that I need. Anything that, that is for me is, is on, it, it is here for me right now. Like I have access to it, but yeah, all in all, all in all, I don't want or need for anything. Everything that I have is everything that I need and I'm gonna work with what I got, period. That alone was such a pivotal eye-opening mantra and lesson uh, that I had to just see. You know, it's always been that way, but I just had to see it so I could be a little more at peace, you know? This next level in my life calls for me to be a soft girl, <laughs> you know? It calls for me to be soft. It calls for me to stand in my femininity more so I can be at, in this place of optimal creativity and um, free flowingness and still dwelling in that flow state and contentment and happiness in life. And the word content is is a word that I never really liked because I'm like, ew, content. But when I say that, I really just mean happy, you know, happy, not searching for happiness outside of oneself, not thinking that happiness is anywhere else or with anyone else than within ourselves and where we are right now, period, you know? Um, and that can be a little difficult, but when you do come to that, it's the most liberating thing ever, literally. So I'm grateful for that, but I've seen this next chapter of my life 
it's the only reason why I'm stepping into it, you know? Um, I was given a vision um, and the divine told me like, this is your season of working smarter, not harder. I have been working my ass off <laughs> for like, oh my gosh, for like the past five years, I would say like, since I got, since I became not even just 20s, since I was 18, I was going, I was going. I was going, I started my first job at like 16, but like I was just going and going and I was working hard. I was working very hard, but now this next season of my life calls for softness, calls for femininity, because there's so much power in that. It calls for taming the beasts and the passions that I have lying deep down with inside myself. Like, and it, it, it calls for community. You know, I am going to, my tribe is waiting for me out there. Um, the love of my life, you know, I'm not even going to sit up here and lie with y'all. Like I'm sharing real shit. Like I saw that my, like I may end up getting married when I move out there and who knows having kids. And that's never something I thought I would say, but the vision is there. And I don't know why, but like my spiritual tribe, like people just keep saying like, you're going to get pregnant. <laughs> I'm like, please stop. I have things to do. I still ain't been Acapulco, but you know, um, I see it. I see fertility, you know, um, not just physically, but within my business, within my creative adventures, within my um, community and just life in general, like lots of fertility, lots of abundance, lots of peace and love. Um, being able to see that and keeping that image flowing in my head nonstop is how I am able to materialize it. I'm materializing it right now. And I'm doing it by, and this is a, this is a major key, y'all. I'm just throwing this in this regular vlog, but this is a major key. Feel it. Feel it. I know that you probably heard of meditation before and visualization meditation and things like that. But it's not just about seeing it. Seeing it is great too. Uh, you know how many times I imagine my feet in the sand and the water like on the beach and laughing and cackling with my tribe out there. Like I imagine all the things, but how does it feel? How does it feel? And then once you feel that, create that in your life in the present moment, right where you are. That was something that was really, really important to me because I didn't want to feel like I was running away from home, or, you know, running away from Atlanta to um, a better reality, um, which, you know, th that's debatable. But I didn't want to feel like that I was looking for something somewhere else, like that I needed to find something in Costa Rica or that, you know, I was unfulfilled here and I was going to be more fulfilled there. Like, I did not want to feel that way. And um, I wanted to step into this journey feeling complete, feeling abundant, feeling happy, feeling like joyful and um, pros prosperous and feeling like love and light and like that girl. And that I didn't have to wait. You know, I could do it right here in my mama house, <laughs> you know, um, and then continue to vibrate with that frequency once I get there you know but not wait until I got there to vibrate on that frequency I don't really feel like that's how it works that's my personal opinion but yeah I'm really gonna take it easy for the rest of the day um right now I just feel called to kind of like sit with self turn off my brain a little bit um my birthday is in what's the next in 13 days my birthday's in 13 days i'll be going to the bahamas y'all already know y'all getting footage of that like for sure for sure but i really appreciate y'all taking this journey with me it means the absolute world to me and i also wanted to like i know we're only one week into january it has been lit so far i love it i'm grateful um and i've gained 15 new subscribers already i'm almost at 500 subscribers and um when i reach 500 and 3,000 watch hours i will be able to monetize this channel um and i'm so i just feel it i feel abundant i feel grateful right now just for that just for y'all um heavily heavily grateful 
um so be sure if you haven't already click that subscribe button like this video if you feel like you know it it connected with you in some way please feel free to drop any comments that you may have maybe it's about um my spiritual journey maybe it's about self-care maybe it's about travel um please i'm wide open um and yeah i am for the rest of january the energy is alignment love flow creativity and preparation um so i will definitely see y'all in my next video thank you for tuning in and as always peace and love